I mean, comparing it to Mark Twain, I mean, it's much different. I mean, Mark Twain was writing at a time when that term was very common and people would just say it. There was no, oh, like, shock or anything. I mean, there's good reason that we have taboos around it now. But, yeah, I mean, there's one of the main characters. I guess you're talking about Huck Finn, right, with uh, N-word Jim, right? So there's that. Um, I think context is really important and things like that. Like, that was in the early, late 1800s that that was happening, like, it was not some like, like you can kind of be shocked by it now, but I think we just need to remember that like to pretend or to take that word out or to pretend that it was never there, I think is more of a disservice to the history, to what we're trying to do now, which is get over that history or at least, you know, come to terms with it in some way. That's the phrase everybody uses. And yeah, I mean, I think that it's important for context to really be a huge part of literature. It has to be. And I think that depends how much you can also overemphasize context. Sure, you know, if we're obsessing over the socio-political context, you know, it limits what the art is doing, too. So you get kind of blinded by obsessing over uh, a socio-political con context, particularly if you're putting a contemporary socio-political context like today's world on top of a book from like 1898. It's like, OK, well, like, how is that helping us understand this text and why it's important or why it was so popular or why we still read it today or assign it in high schools today, you know?